fake plant and to make it look cute. this in so long um my daughter says hello everyone melissa here aka trini mel and i am taking this opportunity to reintroduce my channel to everyone so for the 10 to 12 people that watch it regularly hi welcome back feel free to share my channel with your friends this is too close to my head my head is like cutting off and it's uh tip it backwards a little bit because my head right there again cut okay now you no ooh, ooh, too high uh, uh, too high you mean too low too low sorry come back up bring it back up okay ooh, ooh, stop stop because i'm not stop like this now all right stop right there okay stay, stay behind there one hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh, Trini Mel here, aka Melissa, and I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy life and schedule to spend this time with me and just allow me to reintroduce my channel to you. Now, when I first started doing YouTube, it was a way for me to spend extra time. I had a lot of it and I wanted to do something and I've always found that YouTube was very interesting and I like being creative. I've always been a creative in some form or other in my life and I felt that this would be a good way to express that creativity. Now since then my channel has taken many turns. I have taken many turns and that is what you see reflected in my channel. Now when the channel started it is because other than wanting to find something to do with my free time i was very interested very very interested in fashion in luxury bags and that type of thing i still am i still am but as i started to really look into luxury my definition i have found of luxury has changed so i am reintroducing myself um so I started to look at things differently and to me self-care became very important because I felt that and I feel that a person cannot have luxury or luxury lifestyle without taking the time to take care of themselves. And so my channel slowly started to change. I mean you'd see it more if you follow me on Instagram and I'm going to leave my Instagram information here. You'll see that change reflected more clearly on my Instagram channel as you see that I'm always posting about self-care and messages with self-care because I find that self-care is probably the most important investment in luxury that a person can make because I mean what is luxury defined as? And if you can take the time to spend money on a luxury product, I feel that you first have to indulge yourself in luxury and therefore your body. So I started to redefine and relook at what I wanted to put forward on my channel. So I started this out 
as a series of love letters to myself. So I would start writing to myself about luxury and the luxury lifestyle that I would like to live and the different ways I would like to take care of myself and how I would like to take care of my mental journey, my physical journey and my spiritual journey. And in writing these love letters to myself, it started to express itself and my, my content I felt on Instagram and soon to be YouTube started to express itself differently because as with all forms of art, it comes from inside yourself. And these love letters to myself started to change and then I felt that I needed to address my children. I have six of them and four of them are girls, two of them are boys, and then I wanted to write love letters to my children because as a young person you find or I have found that there's a lot of times we make mistakes in taking care of ourselves as we go through the journey of our careers and growing and, and maturing within ourselves as young people oftentimes you would forget to take care of yourself. So I started to write love letters to my children. So what you see, and as you see my, my channel develop, it is simply me writing these love letters to myself and to my children. And I feel that this is something that I would share with every person. It doesn't matter the age, because sometimes even as women, we would forget to take care of ourselves as we take care of our family on a day-to-day -day basis. And I feel that these are things and these are things that cannot be overlooked. We can't overlook ourselves because we will not be able to do for our loved ones everything that we want to do if we do not have the energy, the strength, or the time. But first we have to make time for ourselves because if you don't know how to love yourself, how in the world can we even think that we could love anybody else? So. We can also take this as my love letter to you. Um, I will still be doing some fashion because I genuinely like clothes, I like dressing up, I like just looking pretty or cute, beautiful, however you speak to put it on a day-to-day -day basis. I enjoy getting up, I enjoy practicing my skincare, I enjoy choosing out an outfit, I enjoy everything. And one of the things that I find are very key in life is getting the, uh, as much enjoyment as we can in the littlest things and it is this enjoyment that will be reflected in how we treat with ourselves with the people around us please excuse the barking dog with the people around us and our very life so allow me to reintroduce myself my name is Melissa aka Trini Mel and these are my wishes for you and my love letter to you. Enjoy. They could press the record, take off the record button, take off the record button. You had to press it. Where are you going? <laughs> You're not leaving that in. And I'll pop some little quotes and little sayings and we're done. There you go, it's recording. Okay, now we have to start. Okay, bye. Talk to you later. Um, do you still come for this?